Subscribe now and click on the bell icon to never miss learning from Vedanti. By convention, convention is we make it. Like in India, when you are driving a car, you will be driving on your left. While in Germany, while in America, when you are driving the car, you will be driving on the right hand side. Right. So that is convention. The rules have been framed. We are going to follow that. Nobody, me, you or any third person can disobey them. So remember, beta, at anode, at anode, always oxidation will happen and it will be placed on the left hand side. And at cathode, always reduction will happen and it will be placed on right hand side in which type of cell? The galvanic cell the energy producer cell which we are going to discuss. Guru Mantar between you and me, A, O, L. A for anode, O for habitat, oxidation and L for left. Then Lisha said L, O, A, N. Left, oxidation and anode. Perfectly well, beta. Perfectly well. And C is cathode, right? And R for reduction, R for right. Cathode will be always placed on right hand side. Right? Anyway, you remember it, but that is, it has to be kept in mind. This is the convention which we have to follow everywhere. Loan is a very good option. Perfect, Lisha. So, you have to remember it. That's it. There may be thousands of words. Uh, so, no, uh, be very careful. It one of the basic and you have already discussed in class 11th. We have to take it now. We have to revise it in direct cell. So what we were discussing right now, we were discussing direct cell. What we learned in direct cell that no useful energy electrical work can be obtained. And by taking example of direct cell, I taught you how to calculate number of N. That is what I have done till now. Now I'm shifting to the more practical topic of the chapter that is known as indirect cell. Indirect cell. Here you will see that we will get electrical energy. That is the main maksad hamara hai ke hum usme se energy kaise nikalenge. In this cathodic reduction and anodic reaction, oxidation, always occurs in separate vessels called half cells. Please do not memorize. We are going to draw the figure also. We are going to draw the figure also. This is going to be the cathodic. This is going to be cathode and this is going to be anode. They are going to occur in a separate vessel and this will be known as anode half cell and this will be known as cathode half cell. Give me a few minutes. I'll be coming there only. The half cells are connected externally by conducting wires and internally by a salt bridge. Please do not ask what is salt bridge. When I have kept it here, that means surely I'm going to discuss with it, with you people. So right now do not ask salt bridge. This, these are connected externally with the help of conducting wire, right? And they are conducting internally. Internally means the solution is connected with the help of salt bridge. What is salt bridge? How it is prepared? What are its function? That is right now we have not discussed. Okay, sir. Each half cell has some electrode which can be of metal or graphite in which electrolytic solution is dipped. Electrolytic solution is dipped. This is Haji what? Zinc sulfate. And this is the zinc electrode. This is with a copper sulfate. In this copper is dipped. So each half cell is made up of some electrolytic solution and in which some electrode is dipped. As you know, at cathode, what will happen? Reduction. At anode, what will happen is oxidation. Oxidation is going to happen. Ha, beta. Ha, this is galvanic cell. We have started galvanic cell. There are two types of cells which we are discussing. Direct cell is of no use. That's just a history. But we have to tell you. Now we are moving into the practical cell that is indirect cell. So diagram of electrochemical, it is going to be on the next pages. Galvanic cell or voltaic cell? It's the same thing. 
it is a device in which a reaction chemical energy is used to convert into electrical energy right you will read it yourself electrolytic cell and galvanic cell abhi dikhata hu aisha just give me a little bit of time with it just give me a little bit of time i'm just going to explain you leave everything on me this you will read yourself this is the theory part this is going to be energy hanji bete consumer and this is going to be energy producer i'm not going to read the points i'm going to explain the points suno aisha suno bete so please forgive me for the poor drawing but still i assure you that we will be able to understand it in best possible way please understand please understand this is a crude diagram of a zinc here we have zinc here we have copper half cell so now this is a zinc electrode and this is a dipped in which of zinc sulfate this is copper electrode and this is dipped in copper sulfate correct bachcho as you know this is going to be anode and this is going to be cathode please be very careful you yourself will come to know how does the charges come on cathode and anode right please dhyan se meri sunna hai apni mat create karna now every element every substance has a particular tendency to lose or gain electron you or me cannot change that right zinc is more reactive than copper the nature has made it so if you want to ask why zinc can lose more electron or electron easily then please go to the god please go to the nature but yes zinc is going to be more reactive it's going to lose electron more readily than copper i use it for my benefit for your benefit that is what we are going to do here correct so this should be the type of question you should be asking now beta zinc 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 solid this one is going to lose electron and form it is going to be zn plus 2 aqueous plus 2 electron correct what is this bachcho this is a oxidation this is oxidation now so see zinc initially at t is equal to 0 was neutral when the reaction has happened zn plus 2 has gone into the solution yes or no and electrons have stayed staved on the electrode do you understand this this is zinc this is zinc it has lost electron electron will stay on the metal electron will stay on the metal while zinc ion will be pushed out in the solution they will be going they will be falling is this clear now do you understand why anode is given minus sign in electrochemical cell now the next step we put a conducting wire we put a conducting wire we put a key and we put say galvanometer voltmeter anything you like in between the two now imagine yahan pe electron zyada hai aur yahan pe electron kam hai to electron will flow from here to here if you close the circuit if you close the circuit electron will start traveling towards this these are going to be the question of your syllabus right draw a well labeled diagram for a galvanic cell so this Sir. can be a question or he can Sir. ask electron flows from anode to cathode or cathode to anode in external circuit this type of question can be asked yes who was asking nayan so those two electrons will stay on the zinc anode sir two ne there will be 10 to the power 23 into n there is a, not only one zinc getting oxidized there will be yes sir i'm just asking this uh, any number of electrons symbolically we are showing this okay. right are bhai dipesh last time dobara suno electric charge iske bare repeat nahi karunga zinc form zn2 plus n2 electron dipesh from your knowledge from nursery to class 11th do you know electron travels on metal yes or no dipesh then where should the electron stay in the metal on the metal or on the solution 
on the metal so electron will be staying on the haji metal so that is zinc acquires with a negative charge first zinc was neutral before the before the reaction now some electrons have added on that so this is going to become negative so now bachcho electrons flow from anode to cathode yaad rakhna electron produce kahan pe hote hain anode anode is oxidation producer of electron so it will be moving toward which electrode bachcho cathode this is the most important fundamental going for electrochemistry right it will give rise to all the fundamentals which are going to come afterwards please be focused very easy very very easy yahan tak clear hai shall i move ahead now imagine the electrons have arrived on copper this copper is buzzing with electron buzzing with electron you understand it is having ek bheed hai electron ki yahan pe and the copper plus 2 copper plus 2 comes and takes electron it eats electron and forms what copper solid copper solid please listen to me before the process say between you and me you have two electrons before the process before this happens copper has taken electron so how many electron have been removed certain electron has been removed if you have understood electricity and magnetism from physics loss of electron will be taken as positive right the system has lost electron it will be taken as positive the system has gained electron the potential difference is going to be negative so what charge should i give to cathode is positive that is what i taught you in the beginning that energy producer cathode is positive and anode is going to be negative how does the charge come that is the origin of charge on cathode and anode correct now we have taken electron from one point to another with the help of a wire here electron were produced here electron have been reached that is nothing but we have taken we have produced electrical current and for your general knowledge you must be knowing already no need for me to tell you flow of conventional current is taken in the opposite direction so from which direction current flows it is from cathode hanji to anode it flows from cathode to anode electron flows from bachcho the anode to cathode again the next concept the next concept now please listen direction the current flows the current flows but what happen is this solution acquires positive charge do you understand how suppose between you and me we have 100 zinc and we have 100 sulfate now we have produced one more zinc then the number of zinc ions have increased suppose ye mere aur aapke beech mein zinc kitne ho gaye zn plus 2 101 that means this solution will acquire positive charge this solution will acquire positive charge now come here this is 100 this is 100 the solution is electrically neutral say one copper has gone one copper has gone so you are left with 99 copper and 100 sulfate ha huh? sulfate stays in the solution it is not participating in the reaction it is not participating in the reaction so what happen the solution acquires which charge negative charge due to sulfate ion right i'm not worried about you have sulfate you have chloride those are not participating in the reaction you see electron gain and loss is happening between copper and zinc we have 100 copper we have 100 sulfate here siddharth what has gone is copper has gone so what is left sulfate is left more so this will acquire negative charge so what will happen when the initial electron have flown when the initial electron have flown from anode to cathode the electrolytic solution will acquire positive charge here and it will acquire negative charge here that is whatever electrons were be were able to go on this side now no more electron can travel from here to here they will stay here only the reaction will stop to solve this problem 
we added we added a salt bridge we added a salt bridge here correct salt bridge so let us study what is salt bridge and what it is going to do salt bridge a u shaped tube it is a u shaped glass tube so in this we add some inert electrolyte it may be kcl it may be ammonium nitrate it may be any of them suppose we add kcl k plus and cl negative correct we add water into that and we add few jelly crystals into that jelly crystal this is the same jelly which you are going to use for your eating purpose also you must have seen this uh, jelly in your kitchen right we take water we add few jelly crystal ha agar agar or jelly right we put sugar into that and mix it then we refrigerate then we refrigerate and it becomes semi solid ha yummy bhi hoti hai khane mein bhi bahut swad hoti hai lisha ke muh mein pani aa gaya na the lisha this is uh, right cooled this is refrigerated beta so this becomes what this becomes a semi solid then the opening are plugged opening are plugged either with cotton or with glass wool glass wool is another substance that is plugged this is the salt bridge this is the salt bridge why we have converted into semi solid because we are going to put salt bridge in between cathode and anode in an inverted position if it was liquid then the electrolyte would have flown and it would not have given us the required results now see what happens here say you added positive and negative when you are going to learn about oxidation potential and reduction potential you will come to know which type of electrolyte we should add but right now sulfate chloride potassium are not participating in the reaction very soon maybe by the next end of next session you will come to know why potassium why chloride are not participating in the reaction so yeah so what happens this was positive the solution was positive do you remember now the chloride ion will come here and it will neutralize the positive charge and here you had extra sulfate ion the potassium ion will come from here and it will neutralize the negative charge the cell will continue to work will the cell work continuity to the infinity no it will go to which stage the equilibrium stage do you know every reaction goes to the equilibrium no reaction goes to 100% completion so devi when will the cell stop working when the cell attains when the system attains bachcho equilibrium at equilibrium it is coming from the thermodynamics delta g will become zero e cell will become zero which we will tell you how to measure this is the working of the electrochemical cell so what are the next important question can be asked functions of salt bridge first it yes can you tell me maintains electrical are uh, the cotton is going to give you semi permeability electrical neutrality don't worry about the spellings and second it completes electrical circuit it completes electrical circuit there are two major functions of salt bridge maintains electrical neutrality and complete electrical circuit because you can imagine if it was not there then electrons were flowing from here to here that is not the circuit whatever has gone must come back that's a basic principle of electricity you give electron you take electron back and electrical current is nothing but flow of electrons that is what we have to do to so suno if somewhere you will be getting questions you will be getting questions right they ask listen carefully you will answer yes or no be ready in external circuit electrons flow from anode to cathode 
is the statement true or false yes it's true it's yes now please listen better the next statement the next statement please listen carefully right everybody in internal circuit what is internal circuit bachcho the salt bridge is taken as internal circuit the two half cell are connected internally with the help of salt bridge correct externally with the conducting wire in internal circuit electrons flow from cathode to anode true or false yes it is true why but because it is traveling with the way of chloride and chloride and kya leke aa raha hai electron to leke aa raha hai that is neutralizing beta the zinc two positive internal circuit this external circuit say the current will always move like this you have to make a cycle correct hai this is the working of an electrochemical cell this is working of an electrochemical cell i advise you that when you are going to complete the session you must copy it uh, so now i am repeating it because this uh, question is coming again this uh, cell... one one more question ek second beta ek second just post one it ha na few seconds this cell will not work to the infinity this cell will continue to work till equilibrium is attained dhyan se suno bachche dhyan se suno beta see in nature every process happens listen to me please be very careful every process happens on both side no reaction go to 100% completion every reaction goes to equilibrium that is reactant will go to equilibrium the product will go to equilibrium equilibrium is bound to come that is definitely bound to come see initially the tendency of zinc to get oxidized was more and tendency of zn plus 2 to get reduced was less so number of electron produced from here will be going toward this right and initially the tendency for copper plus 2 to get reduced will be more and oxidized will be less after some time equilibrium is definitely going to come bachcho and then the reduction or the consumption of electron by this will be equal to this that means no electron can move out from there what is that state known as equilibrium and production of electron consumption of electron will be equal here that will be known as stage of equilibrium at that stage no more current can be obtained you got it ha huh. now who was asking the question bachcho go ahead टॉपिक because this topic is a very lengthy topic and so now beta main bar bar stress kar raha hu you should be basing your you can say the fundamentals on my notes right whatever you book, book you, you are reading it may be arihant it may be op tandan it may be any type of school notes you are having but your base should be my notes right it will be best possible thing after the class dear we are going to ah i'm not a astrologer ha ah, 2060 2060 those who are going to listen to your teacher and to your parents they will be known as a great scientist of the words that is for sure beta so 2060 chaliye after the class you are going to read it okay son so this is for you people to do that we have explained it in a much better way now i am going to tell you one more thing तो अरे नहीं यू कैन टेक क्वेश्चन वो डांट तो पड़ेगी पड़ेगी बेटा है ना पेरेंट्स और टीचर्स दीज आर लाइक दैट ओनली कहा गया हमारा फिगर यहां पे गया अब सुनो वी कैन नॉट ऑलवेज ड्रॉ दिस सेल दिस इज गोइंग टू बी वेरी डिफिकल्ट थिंग है ना वी आर इफ यू आर ऑलवेज गोइंग टू ड्रॉ लाइक दिस देन द केमिस्ट द केमिस्ट डिवाइज सम वे for representation of the cell that how to condense it 
right? Chemistry, symbolical, abbreviation, they are fond of doing that. Chemist is fond of doing that. You must have seen my handwriting also, you know? See what has happened to representation. So now what happened is, as we write English from left to right, right? So we will be representing it left to right. On moving left to right, what was the first thing you encountered? Zinc solid. Correct? Then, this is the slanting line. This indicates the phase change. The phase change. From zinc, you fall into the Zn plus 2. What is the physical state of Zn plus 2? Aqueous. Very soon, when I'm going to introduce a nurse equation, I will start writing the concentration here. Say it is C1. It is molarity may I Right? It will be important. It will be controlling the voltage which we can obtain from the cell. Right? Zinc, phase change, Zn plus 2, C1. C1 is the concentration. You can write aqueous, but very soon we are going to start writing concentration. Then salt bridge is indicated by double slashed line. Then with the salt bridge, you land into copper sulfate C and you will write copper plus 2 aqueous. Correct? After that, it will be what? It will be copper solid and it will be again indicated by this. What does this indicate with it? The phase change. What is phase? Solid to liquid, solid to gas and so on. This is going to be the representation of the cell. Again, anode, cathode. Electron flows from this to this. Conventional current flows from this to this. What does this indicate? Salt bridge. What is the function of salt bridge? It completes the electrical uh, electrical circuit and maintains electrical neutrality. This is known as galvanic cell. This is known as Leclanche cell. This is known as an electrochemical cell. It is known by many names. Leclanche cell, galvanic cell. So you are going to read it. I have explained everything, but still I want that you should read it. Sharon, you will see the recording, bache, right? So I'm sorry, but I can't keep 50 or 52 students waiting. Hai na? So you should read it and then you can ask it. Ah, it is the same plus two chapter, plus one chapter, but uh, it is present in 11th class also. Shorthand notation, we have discussed. You will read it. And so now, a single vertical line represent a phase boundary such as between a solid electrode and a solution and a double vertical line indicates a salt bridge. The electrodes are written on extreme left anode and extreme right and the reactant in each half cell are written first followed by the product. For example, very soon we'll be having hydrogen and copper type of cell. Hydrogen is being oxidized, copper is being reduced. So now what will happen? Hydrogen is being oxidized. This cell, please wait for a few sessions to come. Then you will know in a better way. Here, this will be of copper. This will be of copper. And this will be dipped in copper plus two. So now I'm not worried about it as copper plus two with sulfate or with chloride or with nitrate. I want copper plus two. Jaha se bhi cheaply, readily, easily available ho sakte hain. I want that copper plus two. That's it. So sulfate is immaterial to you. So right now, I hope uh, someone was asking what happens to an ion beta. So huh, I'm showing copper as cathode because copper is being reduced. Copper is being reduced. Right hand side is the cathode. Correct. And a left hand side, hydrogen is oxidized. So we will introduce a platinum electrode on which we will be bubbling hydrogen. We will be bubbling hydrogen gas. Hydrogen is a gas. How can you make it an electrode? So what we do is we take a platinum electrode and we just bubble hydrogen gas into that. So hydrogen is in contact with the platinum. Platinum offer its surface area. So imagine when you were a child, when you were a child, you at some time, maybe aap apne mama ke godi mein chadke baithe ho te. Maybe aap apne papa ki godi mein chadke baithe ho te. Your father was doing the walking job for you and you were easily sitting like this. I will, this is platinum. How do you represent this type of cell beta? In case of a gas, in case of a gas, an additional vertical line is written 
because an additional phase is present. See, left to right, platinum, phase change, hydrogen gas, one bar, and then it is H plus. Do you understand? What we wrote here in the last case, we wrote Zn, Zn plus two. But now you have added one more thing. It is hydrogen gas, one bar, and H plus. Correct? And what? where it will be present on platinum. On this side, it is going to be the same thing. Sometime it is written as platinum hydrogen with no vertical line because adsorption of hydrogen gas on platinum, its phase will be same. So we can write it, but you will be using this as more commonly. Now this is copper plus chlorine. Again, bacho, chlorine is a gas. Again, chlorine is a gas, right? Say, for this cell, Vachu, for this cell, it is Hanji. It is copper, Vachu, dipped in what? Copper plus two. And now this is going to be platinum, carbon, right? Because, I'm sorry, it will be carbon. Platinum react with chlorine. It forms PTCl4 and it will react further. So we have carbon, graphite. Graphite is also an inert electron. And now, here you will be bubbling what? You will be bubbling chlorine gas. See how he has represented copper solid, copper plus two aqueous. This is for Hanji Bacho, the salt bridge. Salt bridge will be everywhere. It will be everywhere. And it is going to be Cl2, chloride ion, and carbon solid. Nay, Smriti, no Bacho. Please, nay. Apne aap nay banayenge aap. Let me make whatever compound I want to make. Otherwise, you will be making chloroform also here. Are you? Please, no. Okay, Vachyo. Uh, please, the topic is important. Wherever I am writing something, you should copy it afterwards. Must, 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 must do. Chaliye, aage chalte Now, if two ions, ha, beta, left hand side is anode. And right hand side, beta ji, is cathode anode and cathode and moreover beta where this information will be required for your solution will be required for your competition if two ions are present in the same phase same phase they are separated by a comma you will be hitting this type of question also it is iron solid fe plus 2 aqueous and fe plus 3 aqueous iron plus 2 aqueous this will be present here. So now, this is an interesting cell. Say this is Karan Singh. It is iron bache. Devi Prashad. This is iron beta. Iron is present in iron plus two. Right, son? And here we are having beta platinum. Right? This is being, please listen to me oxidized my son whereas here the fe plus 3 is gaining electron and forming fe plus 2 so in this solution do you understand we will have fe plus 3 and fe plus 2 both for your particularly j advanced j mains mains may he will not ask this type of knowledge but advanced he will not ask that type of problem you understand that? So if both are present, then I am going to use platinum. Yes, Karan, platinum is playing a role. You cannot have iron electrode. You cannot have iron electrode in between Fe plus 3 and Fe plus 2. Because if iron is there, then what is the difference here and here? Fe plus 2 will be this. It is oxidation. It is oxidation. Short circuiting will happen. Remember? Since iron cannot form electrode, that is why platinum is used as inert electrode. Detailed notation would include iron concentration, gas pressure as well. Right? So if that happens, iron is being oxidized, iron is being reduced, can you form a cell? It is zinc cell here, zinc cell here, the cell cannot be weighed. You have, need to have different things. So this you will read yourself in case of gas ion half cell platinum is used as inert electrode gas ion chloride chloride and we have discussed platinum.
it is hydrogen hydrogen plus both side we have platinum here we are going to add hydrogen here we are going to add chlorine the topic is important it will need a lot of input from you this will need a lot of input from you okay which you see this is what we have done it is repetition it is copper and this is zinc anode you can make it at your home right one glass another glass right glass and cathode and anode just dip zinc sulfate and copper sulfate into copper and zinc sulfate you can make a cell so ha huh, it is it, it's wrong beta it's particularly sorry 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 that's my mistake that is my mistake so that is my mistake but anyway it's okay the circuit is uh, we have not shown it but zinc is producing electron everything else is okay so i have cancelled it right uh, everything else otherwise is okay it is not following the convention that's it it is not following the convention. so let us do one thing just hold on let us delete this picture so that it does not confuse you at a later stage correct what is the salt bridge and significance you will read it okay you will be doing it yourself now we are moving toward the next turn we are going further deeper into the this how many minutes are left oh we are having 13 minutes to go chalo so i know the topic is heavy but uh, you should understand the practice that you should know the importance of this topic also so now, the maximum amount of useful work that then you please burn the wood the that can be obtained from electrical cell electrochemical cell can be given by delta g not minus nf e not where delta g not is the gibbs free energy n is number of electron exchange so now you understand why i taught you n right n is number of electron you should know how to calculate n and f is 96500 coulomb this is so you know one electron has 1.602 minus 19 coulombs and one mole has bachcho 6.22 into 10 to the power 23 electron so this goes to 96487 coulombs and that is rounded off to 96500 coulomb michael faraday michael faraday he was uh, one of the greatest scientist and you know he came from a very modest background he was a very poor boy so he used to work as a book binder book binder so there was another scientist known as humphrey davy humphrey davy lyman balmer parchan bracket humphrey the same atomic spectra wala one day the assistant of humphrey davy humphrey davy he left his job and this boy the michael faraday was he used to bind books and he was brilliant boy he just keep on reading the books he just kept on reading the books and by that only he was such a good you can say usko itna kuch aata tha ke when humphrey advertised for an assistantship then this he got the assistantship and later on the boss was never recognized and this michael faraday ye usse bhi upar chale gaye and he was a scientist who worked hard who never took credit for any of his discovery he never patented anything he said whatever i am discovering it should go to the benefit of humanity and it is because of him that our batteries are very cheap our batteries are very cheap otherwise jo hum batteries apni car ya apne inverter ya apne phone mein use kar rahe hain that would have been be very very costly so that was michael faraday so in honor of that we use 96500 coulombs and e not is the electro motive force and in the easy language you should not tell to your teacher because they are fond of reading whatever is written in the book this is the maximum voltage which can be obtained from the cell you must have seen see i have a battery with me this is a normal battery triple a right on this it is written 1.5 volt so that is a emf that is a emf and if i connect it if i connect it in some circuit i will never get 1.5 volt 
because of some resistance losses. So what is EMF? The maximum voltage which can be obtained from the cell. Internal resistance, ohmic resistance, ohms law. Right here? So now, it is, uh, it is everything is for CBSC beta. Everything is for CBSC. Everything is included in your syllabus. Delta G naught is minus NF E naught. E naught of galvanic cell we are saying galvanic cell can never be negative because if E naught is negative, you put it here, delta G becomes positive and delta G positive means the process cannot happen. The process cannot happen. Sure, E naught can never be negative for an energy producer cell. E naught has to be always positive. That forms the basis. Next session is going to be very important. We will be discussing oxidation potential and reduction potential. Nine beta voltage can be negative. Give me a little bit of time, right? When I am going to hit the electrolytic cell, there we will have to supply the voltage. That will be taken as negative. When the system is giving us energy, we take it as a positive volt. If we are doing, no, class is not over. See, E naught. What is E naught, bache? This E naught. This E naught is E right hand side minus E left hand side. What is right hand side and left hand side? You know it. It is right hand side cathode and it is the left hand side the anode. E right hand side minus E left hand side or E naught cathode minus E naught anode. Correct? Or because it has to be always positive, it has to be higher minus lower. E naught higher minus E naught lower. What is this? Potential difference for cathode minus potential difference for anode. We are going to tell you what is that. This is going to be an even important thing is coming. Where E naught cathode or E naught anode is defined as respective electrode potential. Right? What is electrode potential? That means a new thing is going to crop up. What is electrode potential? Got it? Why do we know? Why do we need electrode potential? Samiti, just wait, beta. It is human. We are going to define that beta. So that will be clear in the coming session. So we need cathode or anode electrode potential. From electrode potential, we will calculate a term known as E naught. From E naught beta, we will go to delta G. Why do we want to know delta G? I'm preparing a cell, you are preparing a cell, one of our friend is preparing a cell. We want to see which can give you maximum energy, right? So whichever cell gives you maximum energy, that can be a better cell. But yes, in reality, in reality. So we will come back to in uh, easy language, we are going to call it Om Prakash, right? And reduction potential. We are going to call it Ram Prakash. Om Prakash and Ram Prakash. They are going to be very important things. They are controlling, going to control a lot of things for us. I'm not going to start with this now, right? I'm not going to start it this now. Since you people make note from here, I'm just deleting it beta so that it does not confuse you. You'll be getting only those notes which I have discussed. This topic I will bring in the next session in the next class that happens to be on Monday. So let me delete it. We will introduce this in the next class. Let us quickly review whatever we have done. Haan yeah, I can. So it's a very interesting chapter, but the only thing is beta, you have to be patient. So it is knowledge first. This chapter is like knowledge first. So someone was raising hand so who was raising hand with it? No one has raised the hand. Chalo, let us have a quick review. It is cathode anode. Do not forget. Right now we have discussed only this thing. Plus, minus and it will be reverse in energy consumer cell. Electrolytic cell. Oh, okay. Electrolytic cell. I have not introduced. I have just read it. A background. We will discuss it in detail in the coming classes. Galvanic cell, no problem, video, no problem, no problem. Oxidation and reduction, loss of electron, gain of oxygen or loss of hydrogen. It is uh, Mayank, 
ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट देमसेल्फ गेट रिड्यूज ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट देमसेल्फ गेट रिड्यूज एंड रिड्यूजिंग एजेंट देमसेल्फ गेट हां जी बच्चो ऑक्सीडाइज डो नॉट फॉरगेट इट डेमसेल्फ गेट ऑक्सीडाइज टाइप्स ऑफ रिडक्शन रिएक्शन रिडॉक्स डिसप्रोपोर्शनेशन ऑक्सीडेशन और रिडक्शन डायरेक्ट सेल नॉट यूजफुल नो इलेक्ट्रिकल वर्क कैन बी ऑप्टेंड हाउ टू कैलकुलेट एन प्लीज रिवाइज इट दैट विल बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज वी आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट डेल्टा जी इज इक्वल टू माइनस एन एफ ई नॉट ट्राई टू वर्क आउट दोज वो आर नॉट क्लियर द ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट वंस अगेन ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट ऑफ एवरी एलिमेंट एन फॉर द फॉलोइंग रिएक्शन दैट वॉज एन ऑनली and uh, here we started a cell known as an electrochemical cell zinc copper cell leclanche cell galvanic cell daniel cell all are the same representation of the cell nahi beta nahi 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 right this stage we do not have any questions beta because this was the background next class you will be getting question on that i didn't do anything from the question point of view bachche you will be reading it just read it no homework just read it thoroughly right write it representation of the cell that is your homework bit okay there will be some sessions where i have to tell you a lot everything cannot be converted to this the so solbridge correct delta g is minus nf e not e not can never be negative because delta g will become positive what is n it is charge on one mole of electron this is all indirect cell bit this is all indirect cell the page we discussed if e not is negative delta g will become positive so that is not possible homework is just copy everything in your notebook that should be ready so what is emf sun it is e higher minus e lower bhakti because this has to be always bachcho positive so we will start from here in the next session what is going to be electrode potential in the next session okay chalo i'm signing off bye bye